What is a catalytic converter and why is it so expensive? Today we're going to talk about a part of the car that most people misunderstand. Kindred Automotive. I was told I need a new Cadillac converter. What exactly is that anyway? I was told I need to put some cats in my car, so I uh, went out and bought some. Can you install them for me? Hi, dear. Yes, I, I, I need a cataract converter, but I, I don't have glaucoma. Hey, Rob the Car Guy here with Kindred Automotive. Turns out when your car burns fuel, there's a lot of really harmful things that come out of that combustion process. Things like carbon monoxide, nitrous oxide, and unburnt fuel, which we call hydrocarbons. Wait, are, are we about to do some science? Science. Enter the catalytic converter and the magic of chemistry. The catalytic converter gets its name from the catalyst that's inside of here, converting all of these harmful gases into something that's not as bad. When a converter's working properly, all of these harmful chemicals are turned into nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and water vapor, saving polar bears all over Antarctica. Aww. Now, if you remember high school science, a catalyst is something that helps a reaction without actually being used up. So theoretically, a catalytic converter should never wear out. If a catalyst isn't used up in a reaction, why would you ever have to replace one? There's a lot of things that can actually damage the catalytic converter. If your engine's not running properly, or if you're burning oil or coolant, then it could contaminate the converter. The catalytic converter gets very hot, so if it gets splashed with cold water or goes through deep snow, it can shrink so fast it causes damage. Now, it's not always easy to avoid physical damage to the converter, but driving around with your check engine light on may be causing harm. So if you have a check engine light, it's important to get it looked at as soon as possible to avoid damaging this very expensive component. But why are they so expensive if you have to replace them? The ingredients in a catalytic converter are rhodium and palladium, which are going for about seven to $900 an ounce. You're basically putting fine jewelry in your exhaust pipe. Do you like it, darling? It's rhodium and palladium. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot more involved in a catalytic converter system. This is more of the basics, but if you have questions, ask your mechanic or make a comment below and we'll try to help you out. I'm Rob the Car Guy with Kindred Automotive. If you like these videos, we have a new one every single week. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and share any of them that are helpful. We'll see you next week. Science, 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 science